back to the Fourth Estate Militia actual play. Drugs are cooked, a pallet jack is restored, and everybody looks at improv. Again. Kennel and Juliet return to the squatter's mall in order to rescue Cocoa Puff Shimmy's dear old mom, but a tusked obstacle stands in their way. It's time to begin episode 24. I mean, it's not like you're punching her in the face or anything. Yay! I did oh, it. You didn't glitch. <laughs> Suddenly looking at come on, come on, come on. I'll be like, <laughs> one off. I'll be like, all right, guys. Um, here it is. Uh, don't don't prick yourself with this, or you go insane forever. And I do mean yeah. forever until you die, which will be very, which will probably happen pretty soon because someone will shoot you. All right, trust me on this. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So but. yeah, who wants to handle this? <laughs> yeah, it's just backing up. Now, Greg, me K10 is an injectable drug, so it's in a syringe, or is uh, it a... is, but. Or actually, Nova Coke can be injected, so we can have some injectable Nova Coke for the uh, for the real hardcore users. Ooh, could, like always, could always put in dim so. Yeah, or that either works. Up to you guys, whatever you need. I, I like the idea of dim so. I, I like the idea of the injectable Nova Coke, so that this way we can just have basically a bunch of needles in there. Yeah, and it's you know. whoever whoever gets one. Hey, one in eleven chance, you know. Yeah. Are you doing one dose of K10? How many do you guys want? Yeah. I want to say five, because uh, if we're giving out fifteen doses altogether, right? Okay. My, uh, are you gonna need the roll for all five, Mr. Jim? No, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, I just need a chemistry and demolitions facility, and we'll just we'll just make all the shit. It'll be well, great. I just never asked. We didn't actually roll to get the precursors for oh, shit. for all of this. So, Kendall, if you want to make me that roll. <laughs> All right, so we're Can using. Get me my <laughs> shit. Well, we're we're gonna try to going through the doctor contact, right? Yes. Okay. It, well, that's, that's what you said earlier. So just be uh, aware you can't edge whatever role you get. Uh, well, what do we want to do? Do we want to do that, or do we? Because the doc's gonna have more dice than I will. If he gets a specialty bonus, he'll be rolling thirteen dice versus my nine. He will not be getting specialty dice. So it'd be eleven versus nine. Okay, I'll do it. I don't mind. Boy. Yeah, he's strictly a cyberware doc. Well. Not cyber weapon, weapon. And there goes one of my edges. Whoo! Just barely. Okay, so <laughs> three dice on sixteen, or three successes on th on sixteen dice. That's great stuff. Yeah, but it, you it, get it. <laughs> it only costs one edge. I got one more. I'm good. All right, there you go. Racking up the pre go time edge. I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, how are we? How do you guys want to start this off? Well, I will be uh, ready with my uh, carbine and my gecko tape gloves and my mono wheel a little bit of a distance away. And uh, I'll let the other guys tell me where they want me to go. Since uh, when it comes to time to kill people in combat, that's their thing. I could do it, but it's not my thing. Well, we want to social the grandma out first. Yeah, so that's, yeah. Uh, who are the drugs going to? Uh, that's what we're going to use for the party. I just wanted to get a list so everybody could see what we have so far. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Ooh, we should get them teetered fuel. The best synth whiskey in the market. Okay, so we, we've got everything ready to go. We've got bombs made. We've got, we have drugs purchased. So we want to try to social the grandma out of there first. Yeah, you might have to bribe mm -hmm. some people. Do you want a little bit of new yen for that? Yeah, just, just, yes. I mean, I, I got like, I got like 1500 on me, but I don't know how much this is going to What do I owe you for this? Oh, don't worry, man. The, the, the party favors are all on me, yo. I mean, y'all is helping me out with with the help of my homeboy uh, Cocoa Puff, so you know I don't mind you help me get, get his mom's out. So it's cool, man. I got this. Uh, well, you know you're helping me with like the the relay, and like we're like uh, you know we're like the the candy bars. We're all in this together in, in the same wrapper, uh, like the muskets. Huh? Haven't you guys ever had those? Oh, they're great. Uh, isn't a musket like a gun that like pirates or something use? Oh, oh, I know that. That yes. Um, it was uh, one shot, like you loaded it by hand, and then it was it was really old, like Stone Age. Yeah, but the candy like, version, right? They put swords on the end, though. That was hey, hey, Juliet, remember? I got one of those that we took off the one of them gangers we killed. We we were back in my neighborhood. We call them zip guns. We just use a pipe with a charge in the bottom. You know, you just you bang the end, and then it shoots out the front. Yeah, those are great. But but anyway, we're like all part of the same pack now, right? Cool, man. I mean, if you, if you want to float me a little bit of cred, that's cool. You know, I, I don't know how much bribe we're going to have to use, but, you know, whatever, all that can help is going to help, you know? 
Oh, okay. We'll take take like uh, two hundred new yen just in case. If you don't need it, you can. You don't need it. Cool, man. I but got if you do, oh, and you might want to bring like a hammock or a sling or something, because that 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 wonderful lady looked real heavy. Yeah, about that. How <laughs> how exactly are we going to get her out? Is the problem. Oh uh, well, they make like trolleys. I mean, can you carry her? I, I don't. I don't. I don't know if anything can carry her. Oh, rip. She is. Uh, she no, a little bit like, on the. She's big. Like like the trolleys that you that you move trucks with. Like like you find them at some of the old abandoned factories out out in uh near like Skullhaven, right? Oh, you mean like those yeah, those big flatbed carts that you push like when you're buying a whole bunch of like like bricks or something? Like one of the big flatbed carts you push? Yeah. Mr. GM, did we see anything like that when we did our walkthrough of the mall? Probably not at the mall. Well, I mean, this place probably has one, right? It's an old industrial factory. Uh, you can make me an edge check to see if one's there. And this is where the two edge troll looks at all the edge lords. Well, I say this, this would be this would be a group edge. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can help out here. Hey, I got one hit. Oh, I'm not helping uh, at rip. all. Rip. Uh, you're able to find one, but it's pretty heavily damaged. Um, it's definitely going to require some TLC to get moving properly again. I'm st- I'm st- Everybody <laughs> looks at him, prof. <laughs> 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 All right. If you guys can get it, are they able to get it to me? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like half buried underneath the rubble. The axle on one of the wheels is bent wrong. and uh, <laughs> the, the the part that you actually use to like, pump it up so like it'll actually raise mm-hmm. the jack off the ground is is leaking oh. somewhere. Like, like a pallet jack. A, a big version of those. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Well, let's let's uh, let's see if I can start trying to fix it up just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. As I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm I'll jump in whenever you're done. Whenever you're good. Uh, I'm 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 good. I'm not risking any more. That that seven hits. Mm, yeah. I was already pushing it a bit at the end there. You're able to get it moving uh, pretty well. One of the wheels nearest to uh, the part you actually used to move it around is a little wobbly, but eh, it, it's one of the better ones. It's definitely the best you, that you can do. Well, you know, I did my best. There you go, guys. Uh, the uh, the one thing I was thinking about is we had talked about uh, somehow making her unconscious to get her out of there. I don't have any trank patches on me. Does anybody happen to have a trank patch? Uh, no. Can I just punch her in the face? <laughs> we can source a trank patch. Let's source a trank I'm patch. Thinking, I was thinking about it. Try and source, a, try and source like a trank patch or uh, probably more than one. You're probably going to want a couple. Let's be honest. I got a, a gel round you could borrow. <laughs> uh, God, what is this run turning into? Uh, Mr. GM, is the trank patch something the doctor could supply us with, since it is a tranquilizer? Uh, he could supply it. Yeah, we'll give him a plus two here, because doctor, trank patch, makes sense. People occasionally wake up on the, on the surgery table. So what I'm thinking is, how, m- how many do we want to get? Because it, it does its rating in stun damage. Resisted only by body, but she is she's a big woman, and I, I don't know how much body she got. Well, I mean, she has a lot of, of body, it's just a matter of what's actually effective. Just get a narco jack patch, we could do that too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I just feel what's left of my soul slipping away the longer we plan knocking out a large woman and taking her out on a pallet jack. Yep, let's see if it works. There you go, tell you, I will try for the uh, the trank patches first. And if that doesn't work, okay. then we'll go straight to Narcoject. Uh, what um, rating do you want? I would like to try to get four at rating five. So that would be rolling ten or ten against us. Don't you have shot gloves? Yes. I'm trying to save that as a last resort. I mean, this is my contact's mom. So if he sees scorch marks from a shot glove, I'm kind of worried that I'm going to lose the contact. And he did ask you to be nice to his mom. That so. he did. Yeah, true. I mean, it's not like you're punching her in the face or anything. Really, Doctor? 13 dice in one hit? There's been a rush on them lately. Mr. GM, would you mind rolling 10 dice so I can be depressed, please? Oh, I did. He's actually able to get them to you. Woo! The, okay, is the, so the labeling on it is, it, is it a whole bunch of Chinese characters? Or, like, does it list Tijuana as the point of manufacture? Um... Yes. <laughs> well, no, actually, no. They're made by Aztechnology. 
Yeah, it's not so, much better. Oh, God. I'm, I'm trying to think of what Kennel would actually know to do, and I, th- I think biomonitors are outside of his wheelhouse, so whatever. If she doesn't make it, uh, it's just a loyalty to contact. It'll be fine. Don't worry. How are you doing this? Yo, Horatio, yo, is your, your gopher, your, your car, uh, like, is it covered in gang tags or is it, like, anonymized? No, we, we painted it. Oh, that's right, the cool blue camo pattern. Isn't it whiz? Oh, man, it looked it look dope. I'm telling you, if that thing ever went underwater, it'd disappear like a ninja. Oh, we should totally, we should do that. So, so what I'm thinking, because, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think my, my, my motorcycle will be able to handle her because of gravity. And, you know, Improv did fix the suspension on the back of your truck a couple of times, so it should be good enough to put her in. What I'm thinking, we use this here pallet jack. I got one of those automatic fold-out maxi medi chairs, which are bomb, let me tell you. And I mean, it can hold me and a couple of honeys, so maybe it, it should, I hope, be able to hold her. I hope. What I'm thinking is, we put the chair on the pallet jack, we roll the pallet jack out to your truck, and then uh, you got a winch in your truck, right? Because we, yeah. we, we might need to winch her into the bed. Okay, well, they might, like, recognize me, so I better wait around the corner, right? All right, that's cool, that's cool. Nobody's, nobody's going to fall to We know you ain't scared of nothing. Um, well, Horatian, do you want to use the point of common sense here? Sure. Okay, these guys are claiming to be the Crimson Crush as well. So there's a decent chance, because you, you can't know for certain, but there's a decent chance, as long as you don't act like a dreckhead, that they'll actually think, oh, hey, this is her, hey, it's Horatio. He's a cool dude. All right. Well, with that in mind, I, I should be able to wait outside for you. I can go in and help you if you want. Yeah, if, if you're cool with coming in, I mean, I wasn't sure if we were going to run into some people you didn't like or nothing like that. He shrugs. Sure, I shouldn't go and replace them all day. Well, why don't I, like, stay with the car, and then you can... Yeah. Cool, all right, that's cool, that's cool. Well, let's let's go ahead and head on out. Uh, Mr. GM, about what time of day is it? Uh, what time of day do you want it to be? Uh, are you guys thinking earlier is better? I mean, we, we are talking gutter trash gangers for the most part and, and squatters. I can't really picture them, you know, waking up much before 10 a.m. I mean, I would expect things to be active pretty much 24-7, right? Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so do we want to do it early or later? Like, what? I, I want some input, guys. Because I'm, I'm thinking if we go, like, early morning, it would it might fit with the whole admission times. Like, we're just trying to get her into a home to take care of her story. It'll work. All right, so I will say um, 8.30 in the morning. Uh, so it'd be Juliet, Horatio, and Kennel all loading up in the gopher and rolling out. Horatio is going to park and keep the truck safe while Juliet and I go in with, with a pallet jack and an expandable troll-sized chair and the uh, the trank patches, just in case. Uh, I do have my, my crime gloves with me, just in case. Oh, God. I am going to, because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to bring one of the dogs as well. Ah. We will go ahead and bring Gregor, I believe. Actually, no, we'll bring Hodor because he has bodyguarding. All right, sounds good. So actually, if we're going to do that, I'll take my motorcycle with Hodor in the sidecar, and Juliet and Horatio can take the pickup truck. I'll drop you guys off. Mr. GM, by any chance, is it the same orcs that I dealt with earlier who are guarding this door? Uh, Would you and Juliet make me an edge check then? And Juliet will notice that that on the dashboard now is this very crudely done plushie of of a dog that looks somewhat like uh, Hodor. (laughs) Well, I got a hit. Uh, it is not. No, of course. Of more. So we are, I assume we're just going to start walking towards the door like we belong here. Okay. One of the guys in, in this orange and red padded leather armor set, as you go walking by, he just ste- he steps out in front of you, just puts his hands up. He's like, yo, where's your pass? Man, I am here to pick someone up. That's it. Who? Um, why are you bringing in, if you're picking somebody up, why are you bringing in a jack? Look, she... She can't walk too good, all right? I'm trying to get her to the doctor, okay? Look, she a proud woman. I ain't, I ain't trying to embarrass her none at all by saying she can't walk, all right? Juliet nod, nods vigorously from behind a kneecap. <laughs> His buddy off to the side. <laughs> he just goes to herself. He's like, you used to be trying to respect her by bringing in a car jack for her. <laughs> no, look, that, that's, that's respects <sighs> to you. And he'll he'll take the, uh, the folding chair. It's one of the self-assembly ones. And he'll hit the button so that it self-assembles, and then he'll set it on the pallet jack. It's like, look, I got this good chair. Do you know, I can't get my hands on none of them, them chairs with the wheels on it. I got to do what I can do. Oh, man. Usually we'll be in hot water. Oh, man. Well, I mean, we're still not supposed to let you in without a pass, so. Well, is it going to be like 75 <sighs> New Yen like last time, man? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <sighs> He's just, just going to kind of look up like, man, why I got to 
It's like, all right, my boss will get me back. It's cool. It's cool. And he'll take out a beat up cred stick and he'll slot 75 new yen on it. And he'll hand it over just, just looking kind of annoyed, but more just like tired annoyed. So, so where's you go with that? Up to, it's up on the second level, man. It's cool. I've been there, I've been there a couple times checking in on her and it's cool. I know where to go. No, no, I, I was being asking because I want to watch. Oh, come on, man. You, she, she an old woman and she got her pride, all right? I mean, look, I don't want to... Yeah, wanna... but I don't. I don't care, Dad. He's just going to look at Juliet because uh, secretly he's not sure what to do right now. Uh... Oh, yes, I do have a data jack. So um, over DNI, uh, he wants to come with us. Like, I mean, you think maybe you can drop him if we need to drop him? Yes, I have my K on time. Just let him come. It's not like he's doing anything wrong. I mean... All right, player, there, there ain't nothing I can say that's going to stop you, but I'm just letting you know, you know, this woman, she's got some connections. If you try to do anything, anything messed up, like take her picture or something, if she fall down, then, man, that's on you. I, I ain't going to do nothing to stop what she's going to do to you. Didn't you say she couldn't walk none? Well, I think I'll be fine. Man, this is messed up. Can't even help an old woman out. All right, let's do this. It's up on the, the, the second floor, man. Let's go. And I'm, I'm making sure to get good, because I always got the sim rig running. Making sure to get good visual of this guy's face, just so I can identify him later for uh, for Coco Puff. Oh yeah, he's not hiding it at all. He actually appears to be like slightly excited. If you want to roll judge intentions, I kind of do. Four hits. You get the feeling that this guy has a suspicion of who you're going to get, and he's he's slightly excited about it. <laughs> There's something we don't know. Yeah, over, over DNI is just going to keep telling Juliet, just keep your eyes on him and don't be afraid to put one inside his head if you need to. So but I quiet. assume that you head there? Yeah, we'll head up to the second floor towards Jasper's, and when we get to the big mill door, we will lightly knock on the door because I'm still worried about that whole wall falling down. Yes, yes, hold on a minute. You'll, you'll, you'll hear stuff stuff fall. Eventually the door opens. And there is standing the the old man with three metallic teeth. That's all that's left. Oh, oh, hello there. Hey, what's going on, Jasper? Yo, I'm I'm here to pick up Miss Stella. It's time to get her over to the to the doctor. Oh, okay, okay. So I assume uh, Carlton sent you. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, he he got it all taken care of. He's got a good home for her to go to to get checked out. All right. Oh, you're gonna have a blast, aren't you? Just just give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he goes off. Hey, Jasper, uh, Jasper. He goes off and like grabs a com link. Hey, Jasper, 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 come, come talk to me real quick. Yo, is the is is the freight elevator still working in the back of this hallway? I heard there was a freight elevator down there. It's still good. He just gives you that little little chortle, like, little <laughs> like like trying to hold it in. Of co- of course not, because this is this is my life now. Got it. And I'm I'm very much putting on just that. Oh, the the weight of the world is on my shoulders, kind of attitude. I mean, I I I could fix it for you. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna say that. No, I mean Jasper can fix not 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 done anything. But uh, I mean, if if you if you're willing to pay, I could do it. <sighs> Jasper, if I give you another, if I give you Lord, if I give you two hundred million, can you get that elevator to work safely to get us down now to here? One time is all it's got to do. I just need to take this young lady to the hospital. Five hundred. Ja- Jasper, boy, I bought that. I bought that stuffed dog thing from you. Don't had nightmares. One of my dogs ran away, and I had to chase him for four fragging hours. Jasper, I see them eyes. When I close mine, I see its eyes lighting up with the blue and the yellow and the red. Did you have to put the switch back there, Jasper? Let me just ask you that. Did you have to put the switch there? That was a masterpiece, you dumb motherfucker. Well, of course it was. I mean, it's it's on my buddy's mantle, but it's like you walk into the room and his eyes it follows you like that, like that. Oh, like that that dirty movie, The Moaning Lisa. Like the eyes just follow you no matter what you're doing. They're always looking at you. Cause they're programmed that way, Drickhead. Wait for real? Yeah. <laughs> you disrespectful son of a gun! I just I ought a thousand new yen or you ain't getting that elevator. Jasper, don't be like that. We're trying to help Thousand this lady out. Thousand new yen. Uh, through, through gritted teeth. Jasper, oh, I will give you the 500 new yen you asked for. All right? It's got to work one time so I can get this lady to a better place. Unless, of course, you don't care about her. Give me a negotiations check, please. Oh, God. Uh, you're at a minus two. 
for insulting his work of art. I, I had to be kennel. I didn't want it, but I had to. Three hits. Okay. <laughs> you see him, like, lick his teeth and uh, gumming his mouth, like, or he's did that little lip thing again. All right, boy, all right. 750 it is. I swear to, swear to frag, I'm going to go and get me some blood pressure. All right, Jasper. Seven, 750. And he will transfer over the 750 new yen and grit his teeth the whole time. And uh, he'll smile. And uh, you, you see him get a calm link. He goes over, like, over to a counter that has a ton of junk piled up on top of it, pulls it out, swipes across the screen a couple of times, and out from the back comes like comes a little small drone. It's got like six wheels on the side, and it's obviously like been modified. It's like some sort of like heavily modified old cleaning drone. The outside shell has been completely removed. The motor in it is obviously not exactly what was supposed to be there. It's much larger than like what would normally be on it. And on the front is like a little three foot, like one meter long mini bulldozer blade that it uses to like clear a path. Gently pushes everything off to the side so you can get the jack in there. Thank you, Jasper. And uh, I will go in front of him pushing the jack with the uh, the chair on it until we get into the back. As soon as you get to the door, he just goes, after you, and then takes like three steps back. <laughs> and I, I'll, I'll give Juliet that look of, shoot me if anything goes wrong. Just just end it. Just, just end it. And I will push into the back. And standing there, well, standing, all you can see is the back of a fleshy colored blob has on what appears to be a patched together robe or dressing gown or something of that sort that still doesn't quite fit properly on the massive frame of whatever this is. The hair that you can see is ratty and ill taken care of. It's knotted and matted in a couple of places. It's obviously like the back side of her hair has obviously not been washed at all for the last God knows how long. And as soon as you walk in, Carlton, is that you? No, no, ma'am. I'm Carlton done sent me. Boy, you know I can't hear you. Carlton, you better, you best come around over here. I cannot hear a single thing you're saying. So to confirm. You have to come around and look your mama in the face. Mr. GM, just, just to confirm. The, uh, the, the big fleshy mass in front of me is from where the voice is emanating. Oh, yeah, you can see uh, the hair bobbing back and forth. Taking a deep breath and looking once more at Juliet, he will point between his own eyes. <laughs> like, shoot here if if this goes bad. And he will walk around to stand in front of, <laughs> of this woman. Yeah, as you step around, her uh, eyeglasses have, have fallen down slightly off, off of her nose. The hands that she has resting on the lumpy goo that is her belly that is almost like forming a chair in and of itself reaches up very slowly and like pulls them off the tip of her nose back up, her skin jiggling the whole way up. You ain't Carlton. It, it, is he not going to come see his mama again this month? Now, if that's the case, boy, I'm going to have to smack you upside the head and you best go get him. Oh, um, and he's going to look through the doorway back at Jasper and then he's going to lean in. Jasper, yo, Jasper was supposed to have you ready. Carlton's taking you out for the day in the town. Yeah, I don't believe that for no ghost fragging damn ticket. Well, why? I'm, I'm the one who's here to pick you up and to drive you over there. Like, we got the nice car. He said something about some kind of reservation for some place that, that he wanted to take you, some fancy place. And again, he's going to look up towards Jasper, like off in the distance, and he's going to look back. <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I was... I'm, uh, well, Carlton, he just asked me to come and pick you up because I, I you know, I, I got a car and I, I live in the area and he just asked if I would pick you up and help, help him out because he said he wanted to take his mama out. Uh, he was, he was all shy and bashful about it. And I know, I think, I think he was kind of embarrassed having to ask for a little bit of help, but you know how, you know how that man can be, right? Could you roll me a con check, please? Yes, I can. And does fast talk and first impression apply? Oh, most definitely. Are you happy with that amount of successes? I am not even remotely happy with that number, amount of successes. Oh, frag. Social limit six. Oh, goodbye, beautiful edge. I know. Well, oh, God, dilemmas. You know what? I'm going to stick with it. Oh, God, I think we're going to need that edge later. Oh, so I'm supposed to be getting ready for a night out in the town? 
Well, I mean, I, I don't know exactly. He just asked me if I'd, if I'd be cool with drive. I mean, excuse me, I don't mean to. <clears throat> he asked me if I would be willing to, to drive you and you and him around and like, uh, he's going to look at, jo- at Juliet and kind of whisper, like stage whisper, so it's still audible. What's, what's the professional driver guy called? Uh, um, steward? Is that, is that the word? Be, be a, a steward? Like, you know, the guy that drives around, like opens your door for you and like helps you like into the restaurant or, or wherever. No, a chauffeur. That was it. Chauffeur. 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 That's, that's the word. A, a chauffeur. Yes, I could go no. for it. I don't know what no show show fee is or nothing, but um, as you can see, I'm not exactly uh, dressed no properly for this. If you wouldn't mind going over to the, to that there dresser, she points over and get me out some give me out something nice to wear. She smiles at you and gives you a wink. <laughs> With the audible gulp, he will go over and he will look in the dresser and try to find a moo moo that will fit this this narwhal. And oh god. It's obviously troll sized clothing <laughs> for this orcish woman. That her tusk have been kind of like poking up over her fat lip. And it's literally just like stretchy clothing that's been made to look some like tried to have been made to look somewhat nice, but it's obviously very cheap. And I will get it and bring it over to her and hand um, it. Julia, what are you doing in, in all of this? Uh she's just sort of staring in somewhere between fear and fascination with this woman. I mean, she she looks like she's got her AK slung over her back. She's like fingering a pistol at her side, and she's just sort of edging toward the edge to the side of the room where she's trying to be an unobtrusive. <laughs> okay. Social um, stuff is not her wheelhouse, put it that way. Kendall, as you go to retrieve all this and you turn around, uh, Juliet, you see this at roughly the same time, what was concealing this woman's modesty is now in a puddle on the floor behind her. Uh, mentally? <laughs> Kendall will send a DNI to Juliet. We use bombs to blow people up. You can handle this. Don't you freak out on me. We've seen worse... We've, we've seen worse things than this. We've done worse things than this. Now, if such a uh, beautiful, handsome man such as, your, as, as yourself can uh, help a beautiful wonderful woman like me uh chubby please get uh, dressed she uh bites the chubby fat little lip in between the two yellowing tusk over dni kennel as as he begins to help uh he will keep sending an emote of a new yen sign to juliet just with the mantra constantly repeating it's worth the new yen it's worth the new yen at some point he would actually hear her mumbling it under her breath as she finally moves to help oh boy so, I assume you're going to carry me, right? Well, I've, uh, the problem is old, old Jasper's got this place so jacked up that uh, I got you one of those, those new mobile chairs. All you got to do is just lean back into it, and we will, we will wheel you out on your, your day with your son. I raised such a good boy now, didn't I? Look, look at him going the extra mile. It, it takes her a good full minute to turn the hundred... In eighty degrees. Oh around no, no, no! To... You don't, you don't, no, no, ma'am. You just, you just stay right there. We will, we will wheel it up behind you, so that you just have to lower yourself gently down, and it'll take care of the rest. Uh, no, I won't. I want to get a look at my chariot. Well, it's <sighs> okay. It's, it's the, it's the best I could do it at a last minute's notice. I, I hope you like it. It's, it's one of the new, uh, the Evo Meta, Meta Ergonomics. The, the the maxi meta chair uh it's i i love mine i i use mine everywhere i go you push a little button it folds out all by itself and he will he will continue to try to talk up all of its features and how long the battery lasts and how lightweight it is as and as he looks over to it she, she's slowly shuffling her way over moving this much body weight is not easy even if one is somewhat accustomed to it it's almost like I don't know if you guys have ever played a really old Star Wars game. So it's just the movie What's Eating Gilbert Grape keeps running through my mind with their mom. Just just that. It's with not tusks. far off. Yeah. 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 I figured. It, it, yeah. It's very slow. It's very disturbing. There's a lot of jiggling, a lot of cracking, and eventually as she wiggles her way around, she's like, I am not riding that thing. There ain't no way. Now, I am a queen, and you best be treating me that way. I'm, I'm, I'm trying the best I can, ma'am. I'm just, I mean, I, I, I grew up in this area, and this is, it's the, it's the best I can do. I mean, I'm not, I'm not as successful as your boy Carlton. I'm just, I'm just trying to help him out because he's been good to me for a lot of years, and, you know, I would, I would hate to let him down, and I, I know it's not what you deserve, but, you know, I, I, 
I'm, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to be like your boy. It's just, you know, he's teaching me what he can. I'm just, I'm not as smart as him, and and I just can't pick up the stuff, and I can't talk to people as well as he can, and it's just, you know, it's hard. You know, it's it's hard. And he's going to turn away I'm suddenly making, and blot out the I'm corners of his you're eyes. Trying to con her here into doing what you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> doing the mom. The feed from this, by the way. Oh yes, oh, God. Right. Oh, yes. If, if not, if not from Kettle, you're definitely going to get from Juliet. And if neither of them are recording this, it's being posted on me feed as we speak, obviously. I figured it would. Oh, God. So what's the most exclusive restaurant in the Redmond Barrens? <laughs> That's a question. Hey, Touristville has some nice places. That is a question. Mr. Jim, can I uh, use the, the guilt-tripping-a-mom bonus? Well, no, like, you know how sometimes uh, in, in the real world, hipsters will find out about this, like, hole in the wall restaurant that's actually really really good and then they'll spread it all over social media right and then suddenly there's a line around the block every day to get this place that's basically a diner right basically every place i intentionally eat at mm-hmm. we got a couple of those places here and they're ooh, they're lovely right so that's kind of what i'm thinking you know there's probably this uh maybe this uh orzet orc uh barbecue place right uh, that would be the Redmond Center Hotel. Yo, tell her you got like reservations there. Yeah. I had to, I had to like shoot some guy in the face to get to eat there. You good man, Horatio. You taking care of me, boy. And then to uh, to finish up the guilt trip, he's he's gonna say, I mean, the, look, I'm not trying to spoil you. I'm not trying to spoil the surprise, but it's 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 the Redmond Central Hotel. Okay, they're gonna have them fancy electric drone carts that come out to get you. I just. I just got to take you out to the truck. That's all. I don't want to ruin your son's surprise. I mean, he, he's been thinking about this for weeks. He's been going around to these places and talking to them, the men in the fancy, the, the black suit with the white shirt and the little bow for a tie thingy. I mean, I ain't, I ain't trying to ruin his surprise, but they're going to have a real nice one for you there. Uh, make me a con check with a plus three. Oh, my God. Ten Dear hits. Jeebus, I, can, roll. I can keep six of those. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to roll. Never mind. That poor social limit. I know. I'm trying to get it up, but I'm just running out of karma so fast. We need to get you a sleeping tiger. Well, I I, w- I wanted to get a suit beforehand, but I, I couldn't really justify coming here in a suit. You know, you gotta you gotta look the part a little. No, that's why the sleeping tiger works, right? Because it's like a pimp suit. <laughs> that is a good point. Because it's not classy. Oh, so so you're saying that you're trying to get me into a hotel room then, huh? You're making me you're making me blush. What's, what's Carlton going to think if he hears me talking to his mama like that? And then over oh, cool. D&I to, Jean, to, to, to Juliet, I swear to frag, I'm going to bleach my eyes when we out of here. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm wiping my flashback memory off of this. Now, don't you worry about how Carlton's going to handle this. You better, need, you better worry how you're going to handle me. <laughs> well, man, we, we, we got to go because they got to check in time and the... You know, the, the hours get late, as they say, in all them fancy trids that take place by, like, in a hotel looking over a river in them fancy countries. So Jas- Jasper said he was kind enough. He was going to fix up the elevator so we can just take the elevator down. And then we can do the, we can stroll, stroll on out to the truck. And then we can just take, we can just take a nice scenic drive out of here. And we'll go get Carlton. Okay. At this point, the ganger who had followed you up here. That's the one really I should be watching. He begins dying out in laughter. Like he's been holding it in. He's been listening to this whole thing, and he just starts belly laughing. That's okay. She won't shoot him yet. Let's be honest. We're all pretty certain how Juliet is going to handle this orc, right? 